Yo, 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 with your girl Missy here, back with another one today here to do the Season 1, Episode 8 Description Breakdown. In this video, I will be going over the trailer description and the actual trailer for Episode 8, the season finale. I wanted to wait until I received the description so that I could give a better review of the trailer. Lots to unpack here, so let's get started. So Episode 8, the finale, is titled The King of Detroit. For the synopsis, we have this. In an effort to expand into new territory, Meech discovers a disturbing alliance, then hatches a plan to eliminate the threat. Terry is forced to make a life-altering decision. BMF stands for Black Mafia Family, and it represents everything we're about to. That's the difference between us. You always asking for permission instead of just taking what's rightfully yours. What have you done, Demetrius? Y'all don't have nothing else to worry about. I don't know who the hell you are anymore. What type of game you trying to run here? Ain't no game. I won't meet you. Be we family. And family do whatever they gotta do to protect one another. I wanna build a legacy for our family. We hustlers. It's in our blood. So let's break down the synopsis piece by piece, and I would like to hear your thoughts in the comments. So first we have, in an effort to expand into new territory, what do you all think this is referring to? In episode six, Meech had a discussion with Q and told him that he knew Q was one of the gateways to Detroit, and that is where Meech is headed. Meech said he wanted to take over the world, but he's focused on the D first. Him and Q agreed to make money together, and in order to be a gateway for Detroit, Meech has quite a bit of elevation that he needs to do from where he currently is. So I think this expanding into new territory has more to do with his relationship with Q, especially since we know that Terry is having issues with Big L, so I'm not sure how that is going to play out. Also, in relation to the new territory, do you think that could be leaving Detroit, or is it too soon for them to leave Detroit? For the next part of the synopsis, Meech discovers a disturbing alliance then hatches a plan to eliminate the threat. What do you all think the threat is? comment and let me know. To me, the most threatening alliance right now is Kato and Lamar. So if it's referring to Kato and Lamar, then that will mean that B. Mickey is going to tell Meech what he knows about Kato and Lamar working together. So this is going to cause Meech to have to come up with a plan to take care of their alliance. And I think he could possibly use Kato to take down Lamar. Do you think this is the alliance they're referring to? And do you agree that B. Mickey is going to tell Meech about Kato and possibly use her to help him take down Lamar? Or do you think that the disturbing alliance could be Kato and be Mickey? Because that's very disturbing but Meech does already know about them. In order for him to find out with the pact that they kind of made to stick together either Kato or B. Mickey, one of them will have to talk. That's why I feel like the alliance is Kato and Lamar. So in your opinion, what is the disturbing alliance and how will he eliminate that threat? And then for the last part of the synopsis, Terry is forced to make a life-altering decision. What do you think the life-altering decision could be? For me, in episode 7, Wanda had a conversation with Terry about getting out of the game and he advised that he could not do that because he had too much money tied up and she basically told him either her his family or the game. So I think this has something to do with his relationship with Wanda versus staying in the game. I think he's having some hesitations as we saw in the trailer. He obviously, Meech is kind of trying to talk him into something or convince him or could it have something to do with the lawsuit? What do you think the life altering decision is that Terry has to make? Comment and let me know. Now let's hop into this trailer y'all. This trailer is jam packed. It's so much going on. I was trying to keep track of Meech's outfits and kind of put it together and see the order of the events. So in this first clip, we see Meech saying BMF stands for Black Mafia Family. So huge pivotal moment. Meech has come up with the name BMF, which is the title of the entire series and what it will be centered around. So my expectation is since he has the name now is hopefully they will be leaving Detroit soon. Next, we have Meech saying to Terry, that's the difference between us. We're always asking for permission instead of taking what is rightfully yours. So it sounds to me like Terry is hesitant about something and Meech is trying to to convince him and now Terry is having to make this life-altering decision um, and I think it's really just if he wants to continue which he's going to but maybe he's just having some hesitations with everything that's going on with Darius and then you know he has a son Wanda's tripping so it's time for Terry to make some decisions are you going to keep going uh yeah 
And then will he, is this going to be the end for him and Wanda? Are they going to break up over this? Next, we see money being thrown. So it looks like Meech is back at the gambling spot. So maybe the expansion that they refer to in the synopsis does have something to do with Q and they are meeting to discuss business. I didn't see Q in the trailer, but that's another game. You know, the stars plays with this trailer. You never know what can happen. So I think that's what the money being thrown was. Him and Q talking about how they're going to proceed forward. This next clip was so powerful. Lucille is upset. Whatever happened, it has Lucille furious. And what I think this is related to is when Meech said, y'all don't have nothing else to worry about. I'm like, Lucille, hmm. Now, why is that? Why all of a sudden we're fearing for our safety, but now we don't have nothing to worry about? Was the biggest threat Lamar taken care of? So is that why they're no longer worried? Lucille ain't slow as she claimed to be. She knows if all of a sudden bodies dropping and, you know, we got to move and go to Ohio, but now all of a sudden we good. Hmm. Okay. And notice that Meech has on the white shirt and the black jacket. This is the same shirt and jacket from when he shot the gun. So looks to me that this may be towards the end. I'm thinking that he may shoot someone and then, you know, since that's taken care of, he tells his mom, you know, you don't have nothing to worry about, but it looks like he handled the threat and tells his mom they're good with no worry. So I'm thinking that threat was Lamar. And yes, I do understand that he's living in real life, but for TV, we don't know what could happen. In this next clip, B. Mickey is, looks like he gets arrested and is taken in for questioning. And he's asking Detective Brian what type of game he's trying to run. And Detective Brian lets him know, look, it ain't no game. I want Meech. So we know B. Mickey is not going to give up Meech. At least I don't think he is. He seems to be a pretty solid dude. He was in real life, but like I say on the show, they could do anything to make it play out how they wanted to. But it could be that maybe he takes the fall for something so that's why he won't proceed with BMF when they leave Detroit which in real life of course he doesn't you know leave with them but like I say we don't know how this is going to play out we have to keep in mind it's just TV but my whole thing is if he does take the fall for something uh he the one who killed JMO so he is the one who needs to be taking a fall for something you know since he is a reason that you know it is so much heat on him but it can go either way next we see that Meech is arrested he has on the denim jacket and red shirt shirt the same denim jacket and red shirt he has when the crew busted in the doors on someone so basically it looks like Meech is getting arrested by the feds and Detective Brian is looking so happy the look on his face is just disgusting because dude you was crooked it was all good until it got too hot next we have Meech telling B Mickey that they are family and family does whatever they have to do to protect one another so it looks like B Mickey is going to go ahead and take the fall for Meech in some type of way or protect him in some type of way but I really I mean Mickey like I said earlier he's the one who needs to take the fall because he's the one who killed JMO and got you know some heat placed on their crew so I don't feel no type of ways if he has to take some type of fall to protect the organization I also noticed that when he was talking to be Mickey he had that white shirt and black jacket on again next we have Meech he looks to be at a funeral home or somewhere with caskets this clip I just cannot figure out I ran it back so many times y'all don't know how, how often I run these clips back trying to figure it out but he has a gun in his hand in this clip so I'm thinking maybe he's looking for someone uh, because why else would you have a gun out and be around casket? So maybe someone is in this area hiding and he is looking for them. One thing I love is some good news. And it looks like Lucille and Charles are finally getting some good news about the settlement. So I'm just excited to hear what the conclusion will be, how much money they're getting and how that will all play out. Each Kato and the crew are pulling up someone. They got their guns drawn. We got Meech wearing the red shirt and denim jacket. And I noticed that B Mickey is not with them. I'm wondering where B Mickey is and you you know is he still locked up did something happen with him to where he's not with the crew um, but I think this scene is more towards either the beginning or the middle because I feel like whatever it is that they're looking for they're not going to find I think it's Lamar and I don't think they will find him um, that's why he ends up at the end in the black aiming at possibly Lamar in this next clip we have Meech again getting ready to sit down he's being questioned he has on that same red shirt that he had on when they ran up on someone and he had on the denim jacket looks like he took his jacket off you can see a little bit of the side of the face of the person who he's speaking to and it looks like it's detective Beckwith so this is why in the next clip we have detective Bryant smoking his cigarette looking crazy because his behind is nervous about you know what's being said in that room between Meech and Beckwith because Beckwith already warned him you know if this, if you 
crooked, I'm going to find out, you know. So I don't know if she's questioning Meech about that, which he ain't got no worries because Meech ain't about to tell them nothing. And I'm sure Detective Brian knows that, but he's still nervous because he knows the part that he has played. Next, we got Lamar and Kato. Not sure what's going on here, but my hope is that she is setting Lamar up. I do think she's going to be Team Meech 50 Boy. And once they set Lamar up, I think it'll be after that. Once Meech handles Lamar, that he'll go ahead and get rid of Kato. But for this scene, I'm hoping, hoping that she's setting him Lamar up. And in this final clip, we have Meech shooting at someone. He has on that white shirt and black jacket again. He is firing shots at someone, and I think it's Lamar. The previous clip that I just showed with Lamar and Kato, it looks like the background is similar. But whoever he's aiming at is aiming at him as well. Do you? I don't know if you guys can see it in the corner, but there's someone aiming at him too. And the only person I think that could be, it could be Detective Bryant, but I just don't know if Meech is going to shoot at a cop. But for TV, you know, they can do anything. And Detective Bryant is a threat as well. But I think right now the biggest threat will probably be Lamar. These two people are trying to take each other out. So we will find out soon what that will be. So what do you all think about about the clips. What do you think is going to happen? Is B Mickey going to tell Meech about Kato? Um, who do you think Meech is aiming at? What do you think happens when Meech goes in for questioning? And when B Mickey is questioned, what is the fate for B Mickey? What do you think is going to happen? You know, this is a lot to unpack. So this weekend, it's episode seven again. And then the week after that, episode eight, I'm still going to tune in this weekend just to see what happens. Hopefully, maybe they'll slide eight in there, but I doubt it. But let me know what you all think. Um, and I will see you on the next one. See you later. Woo!